Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And in today's episode, we are going to be working towards a ranged weapon. Uh, I would really, really like to get my hands on a good, solid Tinker's crossbow. So, I've done some uh, some testing in a creative world to kind of play around with materials because Advent of Ascension, the main mod in this pack, adds a bunch of different stuff that you normally wouldn't be able to build things out of. So, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of play around with this and come up with a crossbow that is worthy of our adventures. So, I think the first thing that I want to build is the crossbow itself. And I know that I do want... I know that I do want to make some of it out of thaumium. Uh, ooh, I actually... I think I actually have just enough thaumium ingots. I thought I only had three. Okay, well, this actually may work better than I had anticipated. So, let's see. If we take this and we put that there and we'll also need the crossbow limb and we'll need a tool rod so we can do all of that and let's just put all of our thaumium in as well now rosite rosite is an actually a really good material like i was i was very surprised uh to see just how good rosite is for this crossbow. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build the crossbow limb itself out of rosite. Now, the downside to that is it's going to give us kind of a lousy draw speed, but that's not going to be that big of a deal with a crossbow because it reloads automatically and I can keep running as that is happening. So, that will be fine. We're also going to want to build a crossbow body there we go we're going to want to build that out of thaumium because that will also give us an additional modifier which is really useful and lastly we're going to want to build a thaumic tool rod as well we're going to need that later now we have a few of the parts of our crossbow let's see we've got this part, this part, we still need a tough binding and a drawstring. So, I'm thinking for the tough binding, it makes sense to use paper, because paper is cheap, we've got a lot of it, and, uh, the binding doesn't actually affect anything about the crossbow other than the, uh, the modifier or whatever other special properties that material has. So... If we make our binding out of paper, uh, that would be this one. Tell me I can do that, please. No, no. Hmm. Maybe it's not possible to make... Can you not make things out of paper in this pack? That would be... That would throw a large wrench in my plans. Uh, let's see. Okay, it says you can get them. Maybe I am paper. Maybe I need to do it out of a paper stack or something. I don't know. Let's try a paper stack, I guess. See if maybe we can make it out of that. No? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what the deal is there. That's a bit annoying. Either way, we'll move forward. So we've got this done. We've got that done. We don't need these anymore. Uh, as for a drawstring, I think we're going to go with enchanted uh, an enchanted bowstring, which is made using enchanted fabric from Thaumcraft. So let's take a look and see how we make that. Uh, that should be under Artifice, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's string surrounding wool. And a little bit of... Okay, that's easy enough. 
we should be able to make that no problem. So let's come on up here. And I think my wool is right there. And my string should be here in the mob drops. Okay, let's give this a try. And I don't know... I'm not entirely sure how much enchanted fabric I'm going to need for a bowstring. Um... We should probably go look that up. How much am I actually going to need? Let's see. Part builder. The bowstring. It says I need three. So, okay. That should be fine. We'll have just enough string to actually do that. So, let's go like this. And there we go. Oh. I have insufficient V. Okay, let's put my other wand in there. Ha! How you like that? Now I do have sufficient V. Uh, and I do actually want my wand back. I'll just put that one back in there for now. Okay, so we've got our enchanted fabric, which should allow us to make this enchanted bowstring. And what that's going to do is a couple different things. It's going to give us the stone bow modifier, which is okay. It is going to lower our draw speed a bit. And I think I heard that it gives you an extra modifier as well, although I'm not seeing that listed on here, so I guess we'll find out if that is true or not. Now all that's really left is we just got to figure out what we're going to do for a tough binding. And I'm thinking maybe they took, maybe there's something in the configs that doesn't allow you to make tough bindings out of paper or something. I don't really know. So all that, uh, so I suppose we could use... Thaumium instead. That might be an option. Let's see. How do we make Thaumium? If we go in here, and I believe that is under Artifice. Here we go. Iron Ingot for Magic. Okay, so how do we get... What can we use to give us Magic? Well, the shards all give us a little bit, but that's that's more than we want. Uh, and we're going to need, let's see, for the binding, I think that's three. So we're going to need three iron ingots. What else do we have that allows us... What's What's magical? Hmm. Let's see... Is there anything here that's magical? Not a whole lot. Oh, what was that? Great wood. Okay, so I could throw a few of those in. Hmm. Random things over here. Some other stuff. I do have a Thaumium pick. You know what I could probably do? I wonder if it will let me just melt this down in a smeltery? We're gonna find out. Because if I could just melt this thing down in a smeltery... ...and turn it back into... No? No, not so much. Hmm. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. So, let's go... I guess we'll have to do some Thaumium then. Let's let's find some magical stuff. See what we can find. And uh Oh, blood blood magic. Ooh, scary. Okay. Well Let me figure some of this out, guys, and uh I will be right back. Alright, guys, I am back, and I think I've got it figured out. Now I decided I was going to do Thaumium, but I can't really find a good way to make Thaumium that isn't going to leave me with a whole bunch of extra aspects and essentia left over in my crucible. So, I decided on something else. Since it doesn't affect stats at all, I'm going to use Obsidian for this. So we're going to make our crossbow binding out of Molten Obsidian. That will give me Reinforced 3 on this crossbow, which should be extremely helpful. So we'll grab that, and now we should have everything we need to make our actual crossbow. So, let's go right there, limb, that, and that, and there we go. So we got a draw speed of 4.85, we've got reinforced 3, 
pretty good durability. We do have Stonebound. And we have three open modifiers, so that is pretty good. That should do nicely. So that's a pretty good crossbow. Now the next thing we're going to want is we're going to want crossbow bolts, obviously. Because, you know, it wouldn't be a very good crossbow if it didn't have any sort of ammunition. And I think what we're going to do for those is we're going to go... I'm thinking maybe sapphire bolts... Sapphire or ember stone? I'm thinking sapphire is probably the way to go. Let me make sure that's at the bottom. Yes, it is. Okay. So we'll do that. And this will give us a thomic uh, tool rod, basically a thomic bolt with a sapphire tip. So pretty good durability. Not amazing on the weight, but it'll do. It'll, it'll get the job done. We will, however, need to make ourselves some fletching as well. Now, the best material to make fletching out of is, without a doubt, um, slime leaves. However, I have not found... I don't think I've seen a slime island yet, so I don't know if they even spawn in this mod pack. And if they do, uh, I certainly have not seen one, so I would have no idea where to find one. We can always swap some of these things out later, though. So let's make our fletching out of feathers, since we already have a whole bunch of feathers. That won't be a big deal. And then we just need to make our bolts, thomic bolt, feather pattern. That's going to give us an attack of 6.5 hearts, a weight of 5.3, which is pretty good. Uh, and very good accuracy, and it will give us a modifier right away as well. So all in all, pretty solid. That's a pretty solid bow. Uh, and a crossbow. Now, we will definitely want a ball of moss. So let's grab the mossy cobblestone and make one of those. And I'm thinking, honestly, I, I think I'm going to put it on both. I think I'm going to leave uh, one for each. So we'll do sapphire oh, and a ball of moss. And that way, this stack will auto-regenerate. And then I will put the mossy on the rosite crossbow as well. Um, I don't know what other modifiers I'm going to put on there yet. I might hold off on that. Uh, probably redstone would probably be a wise decision, just because the draw speed is pretty ridiculous right now. Some of this stuff we can go ahead and put away. Like the paper and the stack of paper and the, the feathers can go back and uh, the gunpowder can go away and the wool can go in there and the iron can go... Not, not just kidding. The iron doesn't go there. The iron goes there. There we go. Um, so some of this stuff I can just do away with because I don't really need it anymore. But... I'm thinking redstone. I'm thinking redstone is going to be basically a necessary component for this crossbow because this crossbow is going to have a uh, a pretty pretty ridiculous load time, as you'll see. If I go to load it, it takes, as you can see, all that time to load this thing. So that's a pretty good amount. Whoa, 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 whoa. And let's give it a try. Look at that. One hit. One hit kills with the crossbow. And it auto-reloads as long as I'm holding it. So that's pretty darn useful. Now we're going to put that here. And we are for sure going to put some redstone on it. Let's see how that decreases our draw speed. We're down to 4.65. I don't remember exactly what it was at. I probably should have looked that up. Um, but... There we go. So that gets us down to 4.5. Okay. So 4.5 second draw speed. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. That should get the trick done. And... It's got a beautiful range. It does great damage. The stack of arrows regenerates itself. 
I mean, this thing does 40.5 hearts of damage. And if it gets a crit, that'll attack on an additional 21 hearts. So all in all, this bow is insane. So I think we should go test it out. Let's go hunting. Let's see if we can find some sort of nasty critter. Whoo, look at the range on that thing. That is nice. Whoo, I love it. And this will open up some opportunities for us. Oh, Urkas! And it, it one-shots Urkas. Wow. It's, this thing is so overpowered. I love it. This will help, uh, kind of, shall we say, even the tides a little bit. Given how ridiculously powerful a lot of the mobs in this pack are. So, now we're, now we're on a little bit more of an even, even playing field. Let's take a look. This guy's got 233 health. Let's see how much we knock off. Wow. 70. Man, this thing does some crazy damage. Look at that. And we just got room for an additional modifier. This thing. This thing is a beast. Thank you. I don't remember exactly who it was who suggested in the comments that I make one of these. But thank you. Um, this is the first time I've actually made a Tinker's Crossbow, and I don't know why I waited so long. This thing is insane. And it'll be really easy to level up, too, because, whoa! Get out of my face. Get out of my face. This thing will be very easy to level up, because I'll be able to bring down these assassins quite quickly by just shooting them. Yeah, didn't see that coming? I don't know, did you see this coming? Huh. Let's see, what kind of... What kind of experience... Actually, the skill level isn't too bad. It's, it doesn't take all that much to level this thing up, either. So that's pretty good. It's a good, it's a good solid crossbow. And I think it will definitely do the job. So there we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to go ahead and end it right here. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. I mean, basically, it adds kind of like real... Well, not so much real life, but it adds an actual... Uh, carpentry simulator type aspect to Minecraft, which is really kind of cool.